Hi there. there! Hi! We are Pablo and Anne from Tango Space, where we help men and women in London and in Paris to move better, express themselves, dance elegantly and meet friendly people with our tango lessons. And in this video, we want to show you and teach you a really cool variation with the contrajero. We would like to invite you to dance this variation in the vals because it can be danced in a very fluid and playful way but obviously you can use it at any point in your dancing. You will find this moment very useful because uh, it's very fluid and you can use, uh, as I'm saying, the vals to do circular moments and keep moving on the dance floor. So now we are going to break it down the steps for the, for the leader. Yes? So uh, we start this moment, this contagio, uh, with a side step together and I'm going to invite her to do a back ocho and I'm going to take another side step with her I'm going to pivot her again for another ocho and now I will invite her to go to the right and I will stop her position exactly the same as when we do the sandwich when we stop her but now instead of going to do the sandwich what I'm going to do is to go around I'm going around with my knee, I find the space and I go around on the other side and I pivot while I'm holding her position and then I will invite her to do a forward ocho and then I change my weight and we resolve with the back step and side again starting again. So now I will give you one technique tip for the leaders. Uh, in this moment, it's very, very important to have a strong frame, yes, and to to really uh, to keep still the brace and to hold this position of the woman uh, in in the back ocho, uh, because yeah, we need to really be clear of not moving her axis or to really to freeze her at that position, so we have the time to go around and resolve with the, with the pivot and the forward option. So now, the second tip for the leader is when we go around and we need to, we need to over pivot, yes? So here, I go around her and I need to pivot in my right foot. I need to pivot all the way, opening the hips in this direction, in the direction that we are inviting her. And then I invite her to go forward and then she comes in front of me. In this way we finish uh, in front of each other, yeah? facing each other with the foot in front of each other. So I will break down the steps for the ladies now and then I will give you two technique tips to make sure that this movement works beautifully in the dance or in the dancing. So we do a side step with them, they invite us to do a backward show. Here, they invite us to pivot and he's stopping us in the middle of our foot. So I'm making sure that I, I go behind, not behind myself, in a straight line. And I stay connected to him, to my torso. I let him pass in front of me and I dissociate to stay with him. I'm going to come forward in, my forward, in, my, in a forward step and then another forward ocho. Now, there are two things that are very important in this movement for it to work for the ladies. The first is that you need to be always very dissociated. If you are using this movement in vals, you will see in vals there are lots of circular movements, so you want to use dissociation even more. This is especially the case here. Here, we need to stay with him and be very precise with dissociation. So here I'm connected to him, dissociated towards him. I go with him, with him, with him, and then I dissociate towards him again. I've been completely in his timing and with his dissociation. I stay dissociated here and here, and with all my movements in front of him. And the second thing, the second tip that is very important for ladies uh, that you will see better when we go into the closing race is that I need absolutely to use my back ribs. So it's very tempting in those type of movements to go a little bit towards the man like this with your, with your ribs. You want to make sure your back ribs are always open 
and that your body is straight. Here, I stay with my body really, really straight, and I don't go here a little bit arched, I stay really, really straight. And here is the same when I'm dissociated, I try not to go here, I stay really straight with my back ribs into my back. So we are inviting you to use this movement in valse because it's uh, so much fun when it is danced fluidly on the very beautiful circular music of valse but obviously you can dance it wherever you want, whenever you want in your, in your tango as well. Yes, it's a beautiful movement, um, it's very fluid, very energetic, very dynamic and yes, you can play uh, also when there is a variation in the music, even if it's not valse, if it's tango as well. Um, and, and yes, and, and play around uh, with the contra hero, you know, as a chain, doing one, two, three times in a row as well, and you can play with that. So we really hope that this is going to help make your dancing more enjoyable and playful. Um, if you like this video, please uh, like it and share it with your friends. If you are on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are sharing weekly video tips to make your dancing more elegant, more playful, more beautiful, more creative and especially... Please keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango needs your embrace. Yes, definitely. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Bye.